Hello? Yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. I'm at Hachmankai right now. I think if you know you want to be a civil engineer, you have to really love it. You have to feel a bit like a little kid when you're at or on buildings or understand how the buildings work. And that's how it was for me. Especially with the Kohlbrandbrucker as a Hamburg landmark, which I used to see all the time as a child. It's just amazing to know how it works. And to know that you are or were part of it. My name's Melina Helberg. I'm in my fifth semester of dual studies in civil engineering at Hochschule 21 in cooperation with the HPA. And for the past two years, I've been able to get to know the port and its many facets. Morning. Every day is different because we're often in different departments. Every department works differently. Some start early, some start late, so every week is new. But that's also what makes it fun. We're going to the Kohlbrand Brooker today. We'll drive round here and then go up into the box girder and see how the weld seams are behaving at the moment. And then, this afternoon, we'll drive back down to the back of the Hachmankai. The sheet piling is currently being rebuilt there. In the first few semesters, you really do spend a lot of time observing. You can soak up everything like a sponge and get to know all sides. It's not as if you think you're doing nothing, because you really are confronted with new things every day. Morning. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Melina. Come in. But it's definitely fun. It makes you want to find out more. And you get to decide what you want to know more about. Nice to have you here today. Thanks. I said I'd like to go to the center section of the bridge today and check the weld seams. So that's on the agenda for today. All right. Thank you. So, let's go upstairs. Yeah, now it's about to start creaking. There are two or three places where it creaks, where you think you're going to die. It's always the newcomers who don't know that and always panic a bit. The control system is new, it's five years old, but we've left the lift technology as it is and just overhauled it. Yes, as long as we don't get stuck. Exactly. If you bring a bit more knowledge from the theoretical phases with you later on, you can gradually do more. So you're given smaller tasks that support the departments or projects, and then you do more and more towards the end of the degree program, so that we can join the company immediately after graduation and work as engineers. My practical part is always a bit different. We have what we call a framework plan, which stipulates that we see certain parts of the HPA as dual study students. However, we can also decide for ourselves which areas we're more interested in. For example, I'm currently specializing in flood protection in my studies and have now decided to look into flood protection during the practical phase so that I can better combine theory and practice. Hello. The Hachman Kai is currently under construction, so the old existing key wall is unfortunately very old and dilapidated, and a new one is currently being built directly in front of it to restore stability and also operations in the port for that section. I wanted to go into the construction industry because it runs in the family. I wanted to study civil engineering, but I decided that a dual study program made more sense because I know that it's not necessarily easy as a woman on a construction site. And that's when I decided for myself, if I do the whole dual study program, I'll already have an insight into the construction site throughout my studies. I know roughly how things work, I can already combine theory with practice a bit, and I'd rather have more knowledge and be able to say something than have no knowledge and have to say something. My 
The My Degree programme is divided into three months of practical work and three months of theory per semester. Alternating between theory and practice is ideal because after three months of studying, my head is full and I'm happy to get out and work and put into practice what I've learned. And after three months of work, you're also exhausted from all the impressions and are happy to have a more relaxed everyday life again and also learn to get your head down again. It's a nice mix and the practical phases are so varied that three months always fly by. The current two years I've already completed feels more like six months. I'm not a couch potato in my private life. I'm actually always on the go. I play handball in the women's team and also coach a youth team with a few girls. And that's how I spend a lot of my time after work. I chose handball because unlike other team sports, I think handball has more of a team feeling. So you have to work together as a team even more to be really successful. I'm just happy when we've fought and when we've won. And then just spend time with the girls and drink a beer with them for our win. My path is clear for now. The HPA covers all areas of engineering be it construction, road construction or structural engineering. So I was able to find out during the first two years, what do I like? And that's a big advantage that you can familiarize yourself with all areas and then decide which direction do I want to go in. If you do the dual study program at the HPA, you commit to staying at the HPA for two years. However, it's already relatively clear to me that I'll do my master's straight afterwards. So I'll continue to study part-time at Hochschule 21 together with the HPA. And after my master's, I'll definitely be at the HPA for four years, working on infrastructure projects for the port. Für die Infrastruktur für den Hafen.